Hello YouTube, this is Wisps and Whimsy and I am your new Thursday host. So welcome to Starting Out Solitary. Our topic this week is books. So we are talking about books this week and I have a few that I've picked. I actually do not have a very large home library of pagan books because I tend to get a lot of things from the library. Unfortunately, our library renovated a few years ago and so they have really downsized their religious books with the exception of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. And even Judaism and Islam, it's a very slim selection versus Christianity. But that's about par for the course with where we live. So I have had to buy some things that I would prefer to have kind of checked out beforehand. But I'm still not branching out too much. If uh, any of you know what it's like to live on a limited salary, you know that book buying is a treat that sometimes we just can't have. So without further ado... I will include a list of books that I did go ahead and read from the library, um, but here are the ones that I actually own. So, the first book that I bought that's a pagan book is The Simple Sabbat, which is written by Flora Peterson, who many of you may know as Charming Pixie Flora. Now, I got this. I had watched many, many, many of her videos um, back before she changed over to her new channel and I just loved the energy that she exuded and she had so many great tips and um, teaching videos and I really enjoyed them so I went ahead and bought her Simple Sabbat, a family friendly approach to the eight pagan holidays and it is a very small book and if you followed her videos a lot of the information she included is also in her videos that she did but she does have some additional things there are recipes um, so it's a nice little book um, I don't know looking back if I would still purchase this but at that point in my path it was worthwhile I was just starting out kind of um, sticking my foot in the water so to speak as actually um, exploring becoming pagan seriously so it was a nice intro to the sabbats now my next purchases which I shared on my personal channel last year I believe Joe DeVoe suggested Seasons of Witchery by Ellen Dugan it is also a book uh, about celebrating the sabbats with the garden witch um, this one is if I had to compare between this and the simple sabbat this obviously has a lot more information it's a beautiful book all of her books are really uh, attractively put together um, it has information historical background uh, some correspondences some rituals and blessings some recipes of course um, the part I like most about Ellen Dugan's books is the way she addresses the reader because she's so friendly and open and just, you know, very down to earth. So I enjoy that about her books. And as you can see, I also have Cottage Witchery and her Book of Witchery, which spells charms and correspondences for every day of the week. And this, she calls it her Book of Shadows. I feel like the correspondences elements are more important than um, being a full-fledged book of shadows. I don't feel it's um, comprehensive enough for that because it is aligned to the days of the week, but um, that may just be my personal opinion. I still feel like it's a really useful book, um, some really great information, definitely a decent reference to have, and again, very approachable and easy to um, appreciate. Now these books, The Spiral Dance by Starhawk, 
Earth Power and Wicca for the Solitary, a guide for the solitary practitioner, both by Scott Cunningham. These I purchased because they were recommended to me. Um, the Spiral Dance I've seen recommended so many places, and I finally got it. I just started it, and so I'm still into the historical background that she gives. It's a 20th anniversary edition, and she does specify that her historical background is more of a legend building than it is an actual specific, um, completely historically accurate and accepted account. So that's good to know, but it's still, I think, a worthwhile thing to read. I have not started Wicca or Earth Power yet, but I am excited to. I know Scott Cunningham is popular with some people and less so with others, but this has been on hold for over a year with my local library, and I'm still number four on the list. It hasn't changed in over a year. It's still, quote, unquote, in transit. So I finally said, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Obviously, I am meant to have this book instead of just checking it out. So I did, and I'm looking forward to starting that. I am not specifically Wiccan, but um, I think it's worthwhile to have that background knowledge. So looking forward to that. And finally... I wanted to share this, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. It is not a study guide or book at all. It is entertainment, but the way she treats witchery and the witch in her book, she is so spot on with the paganism, with the images, with the archetypes, with the rituals. Just a fantastic, fun read. So I would definitely recommend this to you if you're looking for something entertaining but also pagan. So those are my books that I thought I would share with you today. And um, if you have any book recommendations for me, I would love to hear them. And otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful end to your week. Blessings.